Hey, it's been a minute. Um, today we're doing some Formula V at Lime Rock Park. I'm going to go ahead and jump into qualifying real quick here. Um, seems, uh, this one's interesting. Feels like this uh, circuit is so big for these Formula Vs. Um, especially once you get to the second, uh, or the last portion of the course. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. But, uh, feels like you're in fourth for so long about getting all you can out of this little thing. It's funny. Um, got all the, uh, all the good stuff in this layout. Got the chicanes and whatnot. Which are pretty scary, especially in the first couple of laps in the Formula V. So we're looking to survive. Hopefully no one tries to take it too wide through there with us. Um, it's early morning recording here. I don't normally record it around this time, but uh, I'm trying to get my sleep schedule figured out. It's been kind of all over the place lately. I've been not feeling too well, so less uh, less racing. In fact, I actually... Uh, did do. Hold on, let me get this corner right. This is the hardest part for me. I already messed it up, I think. That was pretty crappy. Oh, well. Um, I did try to do an Xfinity race, be fixed at uh, the new Phoenix course, and uh, it was going pretty well. I was an eighth or so, and I was just learning the new layout of the new Phoenix course. And uh, my internet died. My internet's usually pretty reliable, and of course it decides to die and go out for like three hours while I was in the middle of that race. So ended up basically last in that one. That was a huge bummer and really discouraging. Um, lost like a hundred I rating. It was it stunk, especially because I felt like I was doing so well, and we were like three fourths of the way through that race. So. Um, now a couple days later I'm trying again and hopefully the internet does not kill me this time. Trying to get this corner right. You may notice I'm not using the uh, driving line. I normally use driving line on road courses because uh, I'm still pretty new to them and uh, while I know it's not really the best to follow them in terms of the fastest line around the track, I use them as my brake marker, and uh, I will continue doing that in the future as well, because, I don't know, I just don't see why not if they give you that availability, it's an easy brake marker to see instead of just looking around the sides of the track for your brake marker. Might as well use what they give you and uh, helps me remember where to break but uh, it does make it make me look pretty cheap <laughs> so and this one it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, I still drive worse with it off I guess because I'm just used to it being off but uh, not too bad see fine at that time I take that corner right of course after I mess up my two qualifying laps, but uh, yeah, this uh, this feels like a, a big course for a tiny car. <laughs> That's kind of the conclusion I'm coming to doing this race. Man, why can't uh, this third lap count? This lap's looking a little bit better. I'm cool with my uh, 104 time. That's uh, right about where I want to be, I guess. Um, the lap times really start going up here once you start burning fuel off and everything. As expected. But, uh, that time I just felt like I hit the marks much better. What, uh, what was the time on that one? 104.7? Is that what I just got? No, last lap was a 104.4. Just uh, getting a little more practice in. 
ever more important whenever I uh, don't have that driving line to lean on. Pretty competitive times. It doesn't look like there's much time to <laughs> lose or gain, given... Uh, is doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's the line I took through that corner. No incidents. I was just seeing how hard I could push it. And, uh, not that hard is what I learned. But anyway, like I was saying about the lap times, you see it's not like one of those normal courses where you can gain a bunch of time by being really good. Like the number one car is still in first, but it's only by two tenths of a second. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of close racing, which means a lot of uh, contact, probably. So that's a little concerning. Hopefully nothing too crazy. But, uh, I had a race about uh, a couple of months ago. I won at Lime Rock. I believe it was in the Formula B. But they, um, I was like in fifth place heading into the white flag lap. And uh, I was racing a guy pretty close for fourth. And there was three Formula Vs going into this corner on the last lap. And they like were trying to sort it out. And they were like three wide right here. And they all ran into each other. And they all crashed each other out, and I was right behind the other guy, and I kind of did like a, I passed him earlier in the lap, and then we did a drag race to the finish, and I beat him out by a nose. It was incredible. <laughs> I did not deserve to win that race, but uh, I got very fortunate. Wish I'd been recording whenever I uh, did that one. That would have been quite a fun one to look back on. But I record all my races now, so if something cool happens, I'll always have it. So that's pretty neat. I believe I saved it in the iRacing replay system or something. But uh, it's much uh, nicer to have it so accessible. This is the corner I really want to get right, because there's a lot of full throttle time from after that little kink there to, well, basically until the next lap this whole last section of the course it feels like uh, it's all just gonna be draft and flat footing it unless you have to take that outside line on that final corner but uh, qualifying lap wasn't all that great that's okay kind of getting used to not driving with the driving line on so and like I said we're still pretty close so it's gonna be uh, survival I think it's gonna be a big part Everyone's popping in. Get that uh, fast repair already. In case we need it. Good, very well. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we can get that podium and uphold our number three car status. But if not, that's all right, too. I haven't been racing too much lately, so. Solid finishes is all I ask for. So we can get a good start. That guy did not get a good start. Don't like passing someone this early on, but. Oh boy. Not what I want to hear on lap one, turn one. You're in the middle three wide. Why am I spinning? Why am I spinning? Why did I spin? I don't know what happened. I guess I was in the grass. I don't know if it caught me or what. Or if someone hit me from behind. I genuinely don't know what happened there. But. Whatever. It's cool. I guess we got going and it doesn't seem like we have much of any damage.
Another solid start for us in Formula V. That seems like how this always ends up <laughs> for some reason for me. I'm pretty terrible. I guess that has a lot to do with it. Gonna get that draft. I'm not gonna do too crazy of moves, but. Alright, we're uh we're still in it though. Cause of draft, keeping up just fine. Let's try to get a solid finish. This guy's really slow through here. I anticipated it though, because some guys have some real trouble getting through those. Very kind and lets us through. Doesn't know that it's only gonna hurt us both going through there. So that was very uh very courteous and kind move. Smart move there. <sighs> we'll see if he uses the uh draft. Try to get by me again. Kinda don't blame him, that's kinda what this track is kinda has to be. Through there pretty well. Just trying to be smooth. I guess I just spawn on that first turn. Maybe try to take it too tight uh, on the cold tires, but I didn't really have a choice because the guys were putting me three wide. So I don't know what they expect from me. Get through there pretty well. All right. That's what I'm trying to do every time, but it really doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> most of the time. I think what I could have done, um, even though I heard third wi three wide and was giving way too much room, probably could have looked to my right and see if it really was as bad as it said, because I did hear it switch to two wide, so maybe you guys were backing out and giving room, but uh, I just committed to uh, giving as much room as possible, and I uh, ended up not being able to handle it, I guess. We'll see if I got hit from behind. I, it felt strange like I did, but uh, I'm not sure. Almost too far off there. Glad we were able to get uh, going again pretty quick and uh, not lose too much time. Didn't have any damage. That's good. Ooh, getting extra speed through here. It almost, uh, almost had to lift. That might have been something. <laughs> so these guys are going too wide through here. We're going to hit a all-time best lap by a moonshot because of this draft. Just being patient. These guys sorted out, and Yoon Ho, Ch Yoon Ho Choi has uh, internet issues because I assume he's probably on the other side of the world. Yoon Ho Choi, yeah. Okay, I want to make sure I got his name right. It's gonna be patient and. Uh, Maybe use some draft to get around this guy. Still got plenty of time left in the race. No, I think that was someone else that was blinking out. Even Ho looks like he's doing fine. I think we passed someone. Maybe we passed the guy that's blinking out real bad. Alright, made a pass there with the draft, and now we're able to modulate the throttle and keep our line pretty well. I feel 
like that was pretty clean. Hopefully that guy didn't feel it was too aggressive. And we gotta navigate this and hope we don't kill the guy. Got through there much better than number five. So apologies to number 10's internet. Mr. Choi's internet. Apparently he has very good internet. Shout out to him. I don't know why I would attempt that. Just felt like I was stuck behind him and then he cut me off, so. Well, that just kills my run. That just wasn't very good decision making. Get the cobwebs out of my brain. Let's see if we can uh, make a better decision going forward here. Yeah, should have just lifted off and uh, got his draft and then made the same move we made the last lap, to be honest. But that's cool. We'll get by him. Feeling pretty confident we can do it as long as he doesn't do any crazy blocks or anything. saved it somewhat. I don't know, number 10's pretty fast. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll have a harder time of it. And I'm expecting. Just trying to stay somewhat confident. You know, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> I can always use a little more confidence, I guess. He uh, seems okay with leaving those left sides off into the grass. on the inside didn't uh, wasn't close enough for that though okay, Colton. Push now. We can catch up here. man five caught us a lot in turn one apparently I'm under driving it but I can't really run over the guy in front of me so of course there's the draft too Don't want to wreck it, that's for sure. Trying to get everything I can out of it. Don't uh, get too much. Can we get a better run this time? Sure looks like it. We should be able to send it off this time. Give me no room. But I had enough. Let's make it by. Alright. Now we gotta watch out, see if he's gonna try to send it past. Gotta get through this turn, right? my best. Apparently good enough. So we're still up here. And didn't get run over. It's pretty nervous time whenever you uh, got someone behind you heading into a tricky corner like that. He's gonna probably make the, uh, make the pass again though. Yeah, kind of a weird track for Formula V that's for sure. See what we can do on the outside here. Oh, he really sent it in on us. Okay, thanks, dude. I'm trying to get room to this guy in here. Sending it on me. Nah, it's just racing. I'm just being. I'm just complaining. <laughs> as long as he doesn't run into the back of me here. Pretty fast, I think. Overdrove it a little bit, but was able to hit my mark still. It's almost like you don't even want to be in front of a guy heading to the final lap because he's just going to sling the shot past you through this draft. Alright, take your defensive line. 
I was just gonna follow behind you, but. He's just gonna hold that inside. All right, that's cool. Like I said, I'm not sure I even want to be in front of this guy before we get into that final sector. But I don't want five to catch up to me either. So that's kind of tricky. Alright. So now can we make the move past and that we have draft. This is where I wanted to be. Was it the right move? I will tell you, he's staying in third way too long. Drag race. We got him. All right. Great race. There's the flag. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. Solid work. If we had a couple more laps, I didn't have a big slide there. All right, P4. Hey, Yunho. Good game. Yeah. What number was he? Number ten. Fun race. Number ten. <sighs> yeah, that was cool. All right. Still think this track's a little bit big for <laughs> these little guys, these old cars, but uh, it was fun. Just got to use that draft. Uh, and we will see what happened out there. Didn't see too many wrecks. Seems like a pretty clean race. Still got uh, <laughs> see ya, number 10. Uh, so we had that four because of uh, whatever on earth happened at the start. I totally forgot that even happened. We'll see what happened uh, on there, but generally pretty clean out there. Oh yeah, we got some help. I was a little loose, but that's gonna be the product of uh, <clears throat> going to be a product of having to take that low line because what I'm hearing coming through here is well yeah he was way too aggressive I heard three wide I don't know when I was three wide but it said three wide so it detected it at some point um, so all I know is I heard three wide somewhere around here probably because this guy's being really aggressive and so I'm like all right I got to give as much room as possible I'm gonna stick real tight on this white line and then he just runs over me. So I c probably uh, what I could have done is take a look right, see I had room, taking a excuse me wider enter entry. But uh, end of the day, this guy just runs into me. So eh, maybe I was spinning anyway. Hard to say. I got too much of the curb. That's for sure. But uh, we got going. This guy finished next to last because he doesn't know how to re-entry. Poor number two suffers as a result of that. That's pretty uh, frustrating. Oh no, number ten. <laughs> His internet wasn't that good after all, apparently, because it just disconnected. That's uh, we covered from that. Bumblebee broke his butt. Get some grass there, maybe. He's okay. Oh, that's some really bad net code. Is that that red car that was blinking all over? Yes, it was. He had bad connection this whole race, and the uh, number 11 suffered right there because of it. And there's uh, them blinking all over. Driving that, but they're fine. Looks like that's all that was uh, out there to see. So uh, we uh, do a little bit of a spin and still get P4. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, draft helped us a lot, obviously, but uh, and I probably could have done better had I not uh, crashed. But uh, maybe not. 
I mean, we were pretty, uh, obviously that was pretty close racing. Look how close that deficit was, uh, a thousandth of a second. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's, we ended up right where we should have been. And, uh, it was, it was pretty fun. Great. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.